guys and welcome to my channel <laughs> So today is going to be my reset video. We're gonna do a, re a weekend reset. Today is actually Wednesday. I'm actually gonna start my weekend on Thursday because I got a lot to do. I gotta do my hair, gotta do my nails. And then on Saturday, we're going to makeup shopping. It's a blowout sale, so we're going to that. And then Sunday, we are going to church. So we're gonna have a good weekend and y'all are gonna come with me. Tonight, I'm gonna start with washing my hair. So we finna jump right into it. So I'm back home y'all i'm back home from college i just got back from texas state yes the state of the texas texas state we just got done unpacking everything i'm finna go eat but i just wanted to let y'all know like who is finna be busy like i just got done and we finna get on it So today is officially Thursday. Today is officially hair day. So that's what we're gonna be doing. I know y'all see, hold on, let me get this out of my, y'all not gonna copyright me, my bad. So before I get started with my hair, we got packages to open. So I'm gonna go ahead and open these packages. So this first package is from Playing Your Makeup by Yolanda, LLC. This is package, package, as it should be. It's a bunch of, oh! First thing is the green tea facial scrub. Oh, these are big makeup wipes. You have the makeup removal, removing towelettes, the makeup wipes. If y'all don't already know, I'm gonna tell y'all a secret. I'm gonna go ahead and tell the secret. I am actually in a makeup class right now. Yeah, I know I'm a licensed cosmetologist, but I'm in a makeup class right now. So where my goal is I wanted to take classes so I can amplify my skill. I right, plus it's a free class, so I'm gonna take it. Then we have the act the anti-acne cleaner and then we have the anti-acne -ac serum i wonder if i can use the serum as basically my moisturizer in my skin routine so we're gonna we're gonna see what's gonna happen i will also be leaving links to everything that i show you guys in the description box so you can check it out or see what i even got okay i got y'all okay <laughs> next we're gonna open this from amazon this is pretty much just eyelashes that, yeah, this is just eyelashes. Oh my gosh, y'all, these are so cute. While well, I'm doing my hair, we're gonna be talking about college, so hope y'all ready for that talk. But I was like, I need, I'm gonna cut my hair. Um, so I'm really, really gonna get it to wigs. I was gonna get it, I want to get it to wigs anyways, but my hair is like so thick. But I'm like, I don't care, we're gonna still do it. 
So anyways, I'm not cutting my hair. Long story short, I'm not cutting my hair anymore. I know that probably made no sense, but I'm not cutting my hair anymore. And I'm still going to be working my wig. So I basically have everything else, but I wanted to go ahead and get the kit. And for the amount of money that this costs, this is small. This sweater lasts a long time. So I'll show y'all what's in this box. Oh, it's actually a lot of stuff. A lot, a lot of stuff. Y'all just squished up in there, did it? Sure. So we have two of these. So now I have officially have three of these. So we have two of these. We have the edge control. You have the glue. Here's the glue. And then you have the glue remover. Of course, they have the edge brush. I actually hate these edge brushes, but I, I, I actually hate these edge brushes. But we have the edge brush. Oh my gosh, I already have one of these. But we have the wax stick. I guess you can never have too many wax sticks. Oh, there's two edge brushes. Two edge brushes. And then there's the lace tint. I did not want to join any organizations or anything because it was like, I don't want to do this. But this organization, when they came and they showed us, it's fairly new. So a lot of people don't trust it. But I'm the type of person that I trust, like, my gut. Like, if I'm excited about something, even if it's a learning situation, I'm going to put myself in it. Anyways, I, I'm in NSLS, and this is the induction kit um, that they sent us. Got a sticker. Here's the shirt. Y'all, yeah, I love gray, so I like the shirt regardless. Here's the shirt. And then there's the push pin, if y'all can see that. And it's the certificate. That's pretty cool. Backstory, I used to work at Ulta and I was going to spend my coins there at Ulta but I was, this was while I was in high school so I was trying to save up my money because I didn't know how much college was going to be. I didn't know how much money I was going to need to actually be in school. I didn't know how much money I was going to need. So I was like, don't spend any money because you don't know what you're going to need. You don't know what you're not going to need. Hey y'all, y'all finna judge me but honestly that's fine. So I played this, the Kim Kardashian game. Y'all. I ain't gonna go deep into it. Just know I'll, I'll be playing that Kim Kardashian game. So on the offers, there was like a Tula make a purchase, and you know, so I'm on there and I say, "Oh, mm, this that's a good amount of K stars." I we gonna see. So I go in there and I'm like, "Oh my God, they got the kit that I've been wanting since I've been working at Ulta." So you telling me I'm gonna kill two birds with one stone? I got it. And then when I looked on there, I was like, "Oh, I get a discount too," because Tula was having like a discount. Then I saw that they offer something for like college students and teachers and um, veterans and military. And I'm like, another discount? So anyways, I got it for like, I didn't get both discounts. You know how they be doing. You got to pick one. So I picked the highest one, and I. Got it. I'm so excited. I got the clear clear skin starter kit. So I been, and then this bag is so cute. I not only done with the products, but I also wanted the bags. Here is the keep it clear acne foam cleanser. So I have oily skin, so I need a foam cleanser. So when I saw that, I was like, I think that's for me. There's a moisturizer. There's a treatment mask. And then there's the toner. All right. Let's go ahead and get started on my hair. I did do a lot of stuff off camera, but let me go ahead and show you guys what it was that I'm trying to accomplish. This is how the front is minus this because surprisingly my head is too small for that. So we, I just didn't put it. We were going for more like this style, but instead of braids, it would be the faux locks. Let me show y'all what I, all I've done. I just did the top and then I just did like the part in it, braided everything because I, I'm not gonna lie. I was not gonna do that on camera. Okay, so let's start with first semester. First semester was, I don't even know. Just, I don't even have a word to describe it. It was an experience for sure. Y'all, I'm a scaredy cat, okay? I be not trying to admit it and be trying to act out hard, but I'm really soft and I'm really a scaredy cat. And I care what everybody say. I'm getting better. I've actually been coming out of like being myself more. But when I say I care what everybody say, like I hate being judged. That's what I mean when I say. Because I really don't care what people say. And I've pretty much been sheltered my entire life. It's literally my entire life. All I've known is church, the house, and school. That's all I've known. Church, the house, and the schoolhouse. <laughs> At first, I was excited to go. I, I made a video on it and everything. I vlogged it and everything. But then once I got there and realized, like, 
I don't even know if this is for me. When I first got to college in August, um, my roommate wasn't there. So it was just me in the room. And y'all know I was, ex I was excited because I was looking forward to being away from home. And I'm not gonna lie, I did enjoy that part. I did enjoy being away from home for a while. It was all cool, it was all cool. I had friends, we met people, like we went to things. The crazy thing is Texas State ain't start, Texas State started pissing me off like the first week. We ain't even started classes and I'm already pissed off. I'm very outgoing, but I'm very closed off. Basically, I don't like to go out. And on top of that, I don't like to go out when I'm trying to go to bed. Like I have to go back. Did during orientation. That's where Texas State first pissed me off. Because first of all, why is orientation two days? We could have squeezed everything that we did in those two days in one day. The orientation they had planned the days out for us. Like they but it was mandatory. It wasn't like we had a choice. It was mandatory. So sitting here like, you want me to get up at six in the morning. So first of all, orientation started at eight. The day did not end till 12. I guess they assumed it's everybody first time in college, everybody first time away from home. So everybody want to get buck loud and they want to stay up all night. And they figured like those who are going to stay up all night, this is what we're going to do. Which I get that. But the fact that it wasn't optional and that I did not even get to get enough sleep. Y'all figured, oh, we just going to let them go in the dorm for eight hours. Like, baby, I got to actually get into bed and then I got to actually go to bed. Like, I don't know, but that's the first instant that pissed me off. And I don't know if so. I don't know if y'all remember, but it was this video that went around. I think it was off of Bad Girls Club or something where the lady was going around with the pot and pan, and she was like, "I ain't get no sleep because of y'all. Y'all not gonna get no sleep because of me, right?" I ain't get no sleep because of y'all. Y'all not gonna get no sleep because of me. I ain't get no sleep because of y'all. Y'all not gonna get no sleep because of me. Why they do that at six in the morning, waking everybody up? So fast forward, I mean, so coming fast forward back to the, the to the being in the door. The first week was probably the most active I've been because they had something for freshmen to do every single day. And the thing is, since Texas State had like the biggest freshman class, it didn't go well. I joined different organizations, I did things. And I still didn't like it. I wouldn't do it again. I wouldn't take back what I already did, but I also would never do it again. Walking on campus was just dead. It wasn't easy to meet people. It's good if you're an extrovert and you're the person who goes to meet people, but me, I'm like, I'm not just gonna meet you randomly and just go up to you and be like, hey, you know what I mean? I have to, we have to either be in the same club, we gotta be in the same organization or something. Like there has to be something that connects us. My roommate, she ended up bringing her boyfriend over and he, he was supposed to stay for like three weeks, but I was like, no, y'all can't do this. But first of all, she didn't even tell me she was bringing the boyfriend. And I was just like, what? So I did find a job. My job was amazing. I loved working there. I loved the people there. My job was amazing. Um, they they were they were so cool. I basically worked as a alumni of relations. So I got into the tailgates for free. I didn't go to any football games. So I'm gonna tell you this: college is a big waste of money if you don't go to the football games. If you don't use the bus, if you like to cook your own foods, if you don't like to live with other people, college is a big waste of money. I'm going to tell you that. Other than classes, like all the extra fees and stuff that they have you pay, and I'm not even talking about books, I'm strictly talking about classes and like all the extra stuff is not even needed. But you know, they got to make their money, so they're going to make you do it some way, somehow. Overall, first semester was way better than second. So hopefully y'all watch once a bunch of times so I can talk about it. I finished it. I'm just binge watching it again because like I said, I got, I ended up getting depressed during the second semester. So I was just trying to, I was kept just trying to find distractions and stuff to do till I waited till I get home. But I just want to talk about season one and I just want to make sure y'all are on my side at the fact that Regina's anger should have been towards her mom, even though her mom eventually dies. It's like, I mean, to be fair, like even if it wasn't, we wouldn't really have what's about the time. So I'm not mad. But Regina's anger towards Snow is justified 
is justified. Her anger is justified. But the fact that she wants to kill Snow and is blaming Snow instead of her mom is what's not justified. Snow broke a promise and that's bad to break a promise. But what's also bad is killing. She literally took the man's heart out and crushed it in front of Regina. Anyways, that's all I wanted. Okay, y'all. I'm officially done. This part right here is just thick. But other than that, I guess it's not that bad. I don't know what y'all think. I actually love that I didn't use a lot of hair. I was actually, I thought I was going to use four packs, y'all. I used one, not even one and a half. I used like one and then I picked from the second pack. So now I'm just going to mousse it and do my edges that are out. Personally, I don't like all the like extra extravagant edges. And then I'm going to put some spritz. And then I'm going to put some got to be spray to hold it. I guess I'll give y'all 360. Well, y'all need to really see how long it is. Good. I need to do my edges, but yeah. So tonight I'm gonna do my toes if I get home at a decent time. If not, all day tomorrow is literally going towards nails, going towards my hands, and then going towards my feet. And I don't wanna do press-ons. I want them to actually be a, like on my on my skin. I don't really know how to say it because I was just gonna put the acrylic on the press-on, but I don't want that. I want it to be my nails. So yeah, it's, that's going to take a while. So I'm going to try to prep as much as I can tonight. And plus, I still got to clean up because it is a mess. I still haven't unpacked nothing because I've been doing my hair and trying to get all that together. So, yeah, I will catch y'all tomorrow. Hi, y'all, and welcome back to my mess. So it is currently about 1 in the morning. I was going to wait to do my nails like tomorrow in the morning. But the fact that it's Friday and my brother wants me to do his hair and then I'm supposed to be going back over to my friend's house like should be too much going on I'm just going to go ahead and do my nails right now I'm supposed to be talking about second semester I have like no energy to talk about second semester I'm not gonna lie to y'all I'm not aggravated I'm just tired I'm trying to debate if I want to just owe y'all a conversation on second semester or if I just wanna, I don't know. Cause I might be, I'll probably just owe y'all a conversation on second semester. But yeah, so I'm just gonna keep binge watching once upon a time. And then I'm just gonna basically force myself to stay up to do my nails. So I guess I'll give y'all a little, not a rundown, but I'm gonna give y'all a shorthand. I hated semester two. Semester two is where I got very depressed and I kept coming home constantly. Like I hated the heck out of semester two.
It is Friday. It is 2.15 at Friday. Nails done. Hair done. Toes done. Everything is done. So I am in my car right now. I am the thing is I'm not going anywhere. I'm in my car to read my Bible. When I go back in the house, I, I just want to chill. I just got done with my nails. I literally just got done with my nails. So I want to chill till I get ready to go do my brother's hair and then I'm also going to be getting my mom's Mother's Day gift together. Like, it's like a last minute thing, literally. I just got back from school, just did my hair, just did my nails, still haven't unpacked. Like, oh my gosh. Oh, and my friends, it's my friend, but it's her family. So like, they're like family to me, but they got a puppy. It's so cute. And I got this cup for five below. Y'all, yeah, y'all, yeah, okay. Yeah, I know these cups been going. I don't know if they just come from Starbucks and like five and below got the idea from Starbucks or whatever. But this cup was so cute and it glows in the dark. And I don't know if I just was looking at it because I had green on. Because I didn't care for the glow in the dark part. It's just like a neon green, but it's like a soft green. And I'm like, I don't know. It was just good and I got it. But yeah. today is saturday and it is the makeup blowout sale day um finna go pick up my friend i was going alone but now my friend is coming with me so i won't be by myself i'm really looking for a brow pomade i'm looking for brushes and then i guess i'll look for some lashes but overall just want to go see how it looks and everything and see if it's actually a sale or if it's just makeup that it's priced the way that it should be priced. So yeah. I picked up my friends, so now we are officially on the way to the sale. So yeah, excited.
Okay, y'all. So we just um, we walking out the door right now. That was good. Look at all the stuff she got. This is all the stuff I got. Wait, y'all gotta see the other side because it's a lot. It was so I It was actually good, y'all. It was actually a sale. Like it was a sale. So now we finna go to Crazy Hot Deals and get some more stuff. Bye. finally back at the house and yes I'm on the floor there's no room on my bed and there's really no other area where there's not so much stuff where I'm gonna pull out so much stuff and we got a package so let's get to opening when you go in or whatever you walk into the hotel and then you walk into the little convention area where they have everything going on you get a bag and then you basically just fill that bag up which I mean it's pretty smart it's literally it's a clear bag it's a it's a clear bag you grab it and you start shopping and they were so sweet so first things first we got this pink eyelash curler i got me this primer y'all can see it i got me this primer so i ended up getting me a brow pencil because when i tell y'all i've been wanting to try a brow pencil for forever i got this y'all have to open it because y'all are gonna be like what is this y'all it is it's a lash case holder and that is so cute. There you go. It's so cute. Next, we got these cute little rose, not even rose gold. It kind of looks rose gold, but it's like gold. It's like two, 24K, just clear lip glosses. And then these were the two free items that we got. There was a lip gloss and then there was or there is, I should say, a eye and lip pencil. Now for the big thing that we got. This is literally just a flat iron set, but I'm gonna show y'all why I got it. So I really got it because I wanted this mini flat iron. Mind y'all, all of this was $45. So that is, that's everything from the makeup blowout sale. Y'all, I recommend, of course they gave us a garbage bag. Anyway, so. First, I got these shoes. Okay, first before I start, everything was $6. We went today, today's Saturday, so everything was $6. And it goes down as the days pro progress. They are so cute. They're like diamond on the inside. And I'm just like, I love that. Next, I got some wedges. So I'm trying to get into heels and I'm trying to get into wedges. They are so cute. I don't know where I would wear these. I don't know what I would wear these with, but they were $6. I mean, and then we got these. So these were the first shoes that I saw that made me realize, like, I might actually just go ahead and give me some shoes. These are so freaking cute. Like, you cannot tell me these are not cute. They are so cute. They lastly, I got this. I was going to wait, but I actually like the way that this looks because I feel like it can go with something. It's like a bodysuit and... It just had the top. So I just to figure out what it will go with. But it'll go with something. Because I got a lot of neutral colors colors going on. So I'm like, you know, it's going to work out. Oh, I have to show y'all the Mother's Day gift that I made for my mom. It says M for mom. And then when you open up the box. It has like flowers and like bath stuff. And a whole bunch of other cool stuff. And then the cards are right there. So that's, that's cute. Before I get to the Amazon package, I did tell y'all that I got the Tula stuff. Let me catch y'all up. So, honestly, as you can see, my face is oily. Like, it's literally oily. I don't know if it's just the moisturizer or if it's whatever else is in there, but I don't like it. I did not like the Tula stuff. I did, like, I love the foaming face wash. I love that. It makes your face... I can't... I'm not gonna lie. The stuff makes your face feel soft, but it still leaves my face oily. So, I don't know how to feel about that. And it don't leave a shine either. At least my face dull. I'm just like, y'all charge the arm and the leg for that. Don't get me wrong. The toning gel is pretty cool. I like the toning gel because you don't need cotton pads and it's not liquid. So, you can just, yeah. So, that's pretty cool. Okay, let's see what I got for Amazon. First thing first is we got this wig. It's basically the style that I have in my hair, but this is braids and it's like the actual crisscross. And it's red. So, I got red. Or at least I thought I got all red. So yeah, might be putting that in my head soon. 
see how that's gonna go next i got me some flushable wipes um so i've been watching mckenna walker and if y'all haven't if y'all don't know who that is on youtube or haven't watched her vlogs you need to go watch her like she you need to go watch her okay so i saw the opportunity and i took it and so i got me some flushable wipes next i have the foam mount so this is actually what i was excited for it's an adhesive foam mount okay that's pretty cool look you cannot tell me that's not cool at all that is very cool fancy that's cool it's supposed to be like you can use it in the bathtub and like stick it onto the wall if you were taking a bath but you like want to watch a movie so i might actually do that because that's gonna be so cute and then the last thing that i've got is these the eyelash application stuff so it comes with spoolies and then it also comes with disposable eyelash applicators that was my busy weekend and i thank y'all so much for watching and i hope to catch y'all in the next one